What is going on, YouTube? I'm Sharif. And I'm Corey. And we're the, the Tech, Tech Couple. Couple. We want to talk about Sharice's weird habit of gaming. It's my gaming? Mm mm. Try again. <laughs> my gaming? Got my gaming. Where am I from? What's going on, YouTube? I'm Sharif. And I'm Corey. And we're the, the Tech, Tech Couple. Couple. We're going to talk about Sharice's. Weird gaming habits? Is gaming the weird habit or? No. Okay. So, like most of us, or maybe the majority of us, I'm not trying to isolate anyone. I like to game on a really big TV. My personal Rusty. weapon of choice is our 65 inch Samsung. This girl, on the other hand, prefers the better experience of a gaming monitor or any computer monitor to game on. Yeah, so Sharice has been gaming on. A 2006, not that monitors have years, but I bought it in 2006. A 24-inch Dell. It was ahead of its time when I got it, but obviously it's like 11 years old. We've since upgraded to Xbox One X's, and I wanted Trace to have the full 4K HDR experience. Problem is, is it's hard to find a monitor that's 4K, that supports HDR, that supports HDMI over 60 frames per second, which is technically HDMI 2.0. And to find all of these in one package, argh, it's like impossible. So after feeling out all of the other competition, we were down to two monitors that seem to meet most, if not all, of the desired criteria for my perfect monitor upgrade. And we landed on the Dell UltraSharp 27 inch Infinity Edge Ultra HD 4K HDR monitor. Ooh, say that three times. <laughs> if you want to find it quickly, it is the Dell U2718 Q and the Samsung 27 inch CHG70 gaming monitor with Quantum Dot, AKA QLED. QLED. So there were a few things that were really important to us when we were deciding which monitor to upgrade me to. First, I wanted to make sure that I could game in 4K. I've been stuck in 1080p for a long time and 4K is twice the amount of pixels. Of course I want to experience games like that. Now, with all those pixels, I needed a high refresh rate. Basically, that just means that the screen image can update and change very quickly, which might give you a small competitive advantage if you're playing something that moves really fast like Call of Duty. And lastly, I wanted it to be an HDR. That allows your colors to be really bright and really dark at the same time. So you can experience games the way that they're supposed to be. Beautiful. So the Samsung caught my eye because it's advertised as a QLED gaming monitor. Now I'm a firm and a heavy follower of QLED. So to see that in a monitor seemed like no brainer. It has a curved display, 144 hertz refresh rate, which is super quick. One millisecond response time, which like she said earlier, allows you to switch or allows the image to update extremely fast. It supports AMD FreeSync, which is supposed to provide a liquidy smooth type of uh, display, but it wasn't actually 4K. It's a 1440p monitor, which is essentially I won't say halfway, but it's between 1080p, so it's a better resolution there, but it's not quite full 4K. What is cool though is it still will accept a 4K input and it will downsample it to 1440p, so you kind of get a win there since the Xbox One X currently doesn't support 1440p. The PS4 Pro won't and doesn't support 1440p at all. So all in all, the Samsung did provide a great picture. The QLED was surprisingly vibrant. Everything we played, which is pretty much Call of Duty, Destiny. More Destiny. More <laughs> Destiny, or Destiny 2, shall I say. Yeah. It looked really good on screen. I don't know if I could tell the differences with AMD FreeSync compared to the other monitor we got. And of course, with it being a little more expensive, not having the 4K resolution kind of was a little bit of a deal breaker for us, especially considering Sharice wanted to double her monitor as something she could use to dock her MacBook Pro. Not having that full 4K resolution was uh, a little bit of a disappointment, but if you're looking for a purely gaming monitor, this bad boy rocks. It has two HDMI ports, one display port, and it even has three USB 3.0 ports so you can charge your phone, tablet, controller, whatever else you got going on. 
It's a great modder. We'll leave links down below in the description if you want to check it out. But Patricia, sure you tell us about the other monitor. And this is a 27 inch Dell monitor. Now, as you can see, it is practically bezel-less. And that's thanks to Dell's Infinity Edge technology. I absolutely love that the screen goes all the way out there for days. <laughs> Additionally, this is a 4K monitor. It supports 4K resolution at 60 hertz, which is phenomenal. Destiny 2, which is my weapon of choice these days, is just stunning in these graphics now that they've had their 4k hdr update you can see the colors popping that much more the text words i never even saw before you can read very very clearly from this gorgeous screen i also love that it is an anti-glare screen i came very close to a natural light source aka the sun and it keeps it from getting all shiny and awkward during the day it's it's just such a beautiful display. I also love that it's 4K because I get to edit videos like this one on it by mounting my MacBook Pro. It makes the screen that much easier to work with. I can see so much more on it now that it has a dual purpose um, beyond just gaming. And while the MSRP of this Dell is around $730, I'm not showing a little secret. You can probably find it cheaper if you click that link down there. So those were just two of the models that personally stood out to us. Your mileage may vary depending on your budget. Yeah, there were monitors that ranged up as much as a TV would cost. Sure did. <laughs> Over $1,500 and up. What the f But then, if you don't quite want to drop that much on a monitor, there were some as low as the hundreds. $199, I believe I saw some for. Yeah, it really depends on what's important to you. Of course, if you don't have a 4K uh, gaming system, there's probably no need to get a 4K monitor unless it's planned for the near to immediate future. I would say uh, stick for a 1080p monitor. They even have some 1080p HDR monitors for you PS4 or Xbox One S users. So, you know, just stick around and check. If you have any questions or concerns, where can they find us, Sharice? You can find us in the comments, of course. We try to be active and answer as many things as accurately and quickly as possible. So drop us some comments. Questions about these? Ask away. Yep. We're certainly here to help. Of course, if you're not already subscribed. What you doing? What are you doing? <laughs> Go ahead and click that button and make sure you click the bell too. The that bell. way you can get notified when we have content, which will be coming up very soon. That pretty lady is, what's your name? Asherice. I'm Corey. Together we make the tech couple. Thanks again for watching. We'll catch you guys next time.